This week, let's take a look at my first full amplifier build. It's going to be the 5F11 from Mojo Tone. It's a Tweed Vibrolux. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before I get started with this week's video, I just want to remind you all again to subscribe down below and also make sure to click that notifications tab as well so you get all of my latest content as soon as it arrives. So no pedals again this week. I've kind of shifted my interest over these past few months, getting into a little bit more of some guitar stuff and also like you're going to see this week, some amp stuff. So this week we're going to be looking at my first full amplifier build. I've done an amp rebuild before and I'll link that above here. Um, you can go ahead and check that out. But this is a full from scratch build using the Mojo Tone Tweed Vibrolux amp kit. So I've got a lot of parts sitting around me right now. Some stuff I've already completed. Uh, I think this is probably going to be a few parts, this, this video or this journey along building my amplifier. For the first video here today, I just want to take you through all the parts I have and what I've already completed on this build that uh, I don't have video for. To start off, we're obviously going to look at this Mojo Tone parts build kit. Um, this is something I purchased a few months back. Um, it's not the only thing I purchased from Mojo Tone, but it is kind of the, the basis for everything around it. Uh, this is uh, a kit, you can buy this separately, but essentially it has all the components you need for building the Vibrolux circuit out. So I'll just kind of show you quickly if I can get it without anything falling out. But a quick look at it, it you know, we've got tons of capacitors here. Uh, we've got our switchcraft jacks, we've got uh, potentiometers, we've got, um, you know, the LED jewel bezel and all that stuff. Diodes, obviously resistors. So everything you're going to need to put the Mojo Tone um, Tweed Vibrolux schematic together is going to be included here. Uh, I suspect somewhere else in here as well I'm going to find the board. Uh, we'll get to that next. So I haven't found the board just yet. Uh, the next place I'm going to look is probably in here because there seems to be a lot of stuff in this enclosure. But first let's take a look at this enclosure. This is something I also purchased from Mojo, Mojo Tone. Uh, this is you know where the schematic is going to reside once it's fully completed, all the amplifier circuitry that is. Uh, you know, we've got the three inputs here that are on a Tweed Vibrolux, and then we've got all the screen printed logos for depth, speed for the vibrato, and then tone and volume. Um, and I think it's actually tremolo, not vibrato. Uh, we've got our spot for our fuse, and then where our on-off switch is going to reside. On the bottom, obviously, we have holes for our vacuum tubes as well. Looking inside this, just to see what they've tucked in here, uh, it looks like it's pretty tight, so I'm not going to go too deep in. But I do see uh, there's lots of lead or wire in there on this side. Um, and my vacuum tubes as well. Let's just pull it out. I'm sure I can get it back in. Okay, so in here, we're going to get a full set of vacuum tubes. So here we have our 5Y3 tube. This is our rectifier tube. We have two 6V6 tubes, and these are all JJ tubes, I believe. Um, 6V6 obviously is our power tube. And then also we have two uh, ECC83 tubes which are essentially preamp tubes. I think they're uh, a quick swap for the 12 AX7s. Uh, pulling out the last little bit, I did find the schematic board here, the breakout board. Uh, we've got our power cable, we've got lots of lead. It's all cloth lead, which is great. And uh, then we have some, uh, some cups here for our tubes to set in. Also some hardware as well, screws, nuts, etc., bolts. Uh, so yeah, really nice. It's well packed in there. I'm going to try to get it back in so uh, I can store it a little bit easier, uh, especially the tubes. I don't want them to fall out, break, etc. So I'll get ahead with that. Back together. So just going through the last few things that I purchased from Mojo Tone. Uh, we got this here, which is my output transformer. It's what they have labeled the 768 output transformer. Just going to open that up now. Give you guys a quick look. Again, wrapped up 
quite tightly here. And you can see the big transformer there. So that is our output transformer. Likewise, we also have a power transformer labeled 757. It's a 757 power transformer. A little bit heftier than the output transformer, it looks like. Yeah, much heftier. And you can see here. And yeah, Mojo 757EX power transformer. And finally, the last part that I got with my Mojo Tone order was a foot switch. So this is just very similar to a Fender style foot switch. Uh, looks like it's RCA plug. You know, I think this will actually work on my, uh, my Blues Junior as well, possibly even my base breaker for the fat switch or the treble boost. So it's kind of good. I never had a foot switch for that and it might be useful for all my amps. So I guess lastly, before I leave all the stuff I got from Mojo Tone, you do get this manila envelope, which has all the details for building out their schematic, all the parts list, everything. I believe all this is available online as well, but it's nice to have everything here so you can check it off and then exactly how everything is soldered in there. Now you can buy uh, the cabinet and the speaker from Mojo Tone as well, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. I also wanted to do a little bit of woodworking. So I went ahead and uh, I'm gonna do the speaker order myself, which I already have and I'll show you what I got. And I'm gonna take you through what I've done on my cabinet build as well. So for Vibrolux um, amplifiers in general, they're usually built with a Jensen speaker. I think the kit from Mojo Tone comes standard with like a C10Q, so a 10 inch speaker. Um, I went a little bit different. I wanted this to be more like uh, the blackface type stuff. If you're not really familiar with schematics, the Vibrolux is essentially a Princeton reverb without the reverb unit in it. And uh, I haven't played a lot of Vibrolux's because they're not around, but I've played a few reverbs, uh, Princeton reverbs. And I've always found the ones with the Celestian Greenbacks to be the best sounding. So I, uh, I went ahead and ordered myself a Celestian Greenback. So this is a 10 inch Celestian. Um, I believe it's eight ohms. I haven't opened it up yet, so you're seeing it for the first time just as I am. And here we go. That is, and I'll try to get it in there. I'm leaving it right in the box. It's the G10 Greenback 30 watt speaker. So I think this will be a great speaker to have, something a little bit different than maybe on the standard Vibrolux's, but Again, this is what I was trying to do, trying to get something a little bit different. I never like having something exactly standard. Uh, and also if I need to switch this out for a Jensen later down, Jensen's are a lot cheaper. Uh, I got this one at a good deal for, uh, for a Slushy and Greenback. Um, so I'm happy with this. I'm excited to see what this sounds like. All right, so we're coming to the end of the parts. Uh, this last part is obviously uh, gonna be the cabinet. Now I've already gone to great lengths in building out a cabinet and I'll quickly show you what it looks like to date. So this is just a straight up pine cabinet that I built out of, I think an eight foot piece of one by 12 pine. Uh, it cost me about $8 for that piece of wood. And I was able to do everything here with that, some glue and a few brad nails. Um, giving you a look at the top of it, you can see I've slotted it out. Um, similar to any tweed amp. Also added those front plates in as well. Um, everything on the outside has been rounded over with my router using a, a half inch round over bit. And the joints, I'm sure I'll get lots of questions on these. It's a butt joint. So just straight up butt joint, no dovetails or anything. I've done an amp box like this before. I find they hold great. The way I attach them is mostly with wood glue. Now there is some brad nails in there as well, but that's mostly just to hold it while the glue is setting. Um, if you're not familiar with woodworking, glue is gonna be just as strong or stronger than a, a screw or a nail. Um, in fact, in most cases, the wood will break before that joint of glue will break. And that's obviously if it's done properly. 
to get my cutout for where my uh, enclosure is going to sit, I made myself a template here. So this took a couple attempts uh, using the uh, rotary sander and uh, jigsaw and a router, but now I have this going forward. Uh, basically then just screwed this onto my top of my uh, cabinet and then used it as a template for cutting that out um, after the fact. So a couple items that are missing from that, obviously they still have to do, is the baffle for the speaker, which is gonna be this piece of 3 8 inch uh, ply that I had uh, lying around. Um, again, this isn't cheap stuff, or sorry, this is cheap stuff as well. So really the cabinet build um, for the wood, the glue, etc., I'm probably under $30. Uh, all said, so I'm really happy with uh, with how that works. They do uh, pretty good prices at Mojo Tone, and they'll wrap them in your Tolex as well. But I've wanted to build mine out uh, just to have that experience. And lastly, in the way of wood, and I'll try to uh, record when I when I uh, play around with this piece here. This is the back plate for the amp, and I still have to drill out the sections where you can see the tubes through. Um, yeah, it's got, it needs a little bit of sanding as well, and then obviously we're gonna have to wrap it. So once I'm done with all the woodworking, I'm going to have to cover this cabinet, and I ordered some Tolex from Next Gen Guitars here in Canada, and just opening that up to show you guys, um, it's this stuff here, which is tweed Tolex. So it's not tweed cloth, it's tweed Tolex. Should be a little bit easier to work with. I also have a little bit of experience working with Tolex rather than the, the tweed. And also I've always liked the look of the lacquered tweed and I think this is uh, gonna get me close to that look without actually having to wrap it in uh, tweed and then lacquer the, uh, the cabinet. Additionally, from Next Gen Guitars, I also ordered my speaker cloth and I'll just pull it out here, but you can see it's the standard Oxblood speaker cloth that most Fender Tweed amplifiers have. So once the cabinet's done, once it's Tolex, the only thing left to do is put the handle on, and here you can see I've ordered a brown Fender style, Fender Dogbone style uh, handle. This is the same handle I put on my rebuild for my Yamaha GS50. Uh, and also uh, it's the same one that's on my Blues Junior. I really like these handles. They're comfortable, they're durable. Um, I could have went leather, but uh, you know, I thought this was, this is what I know and I like it. So uh, nice handle. Again, something ordered off eBay, fairly cheap. I think it was maybe three or $4. So that's it for the parts for my Mojo Tone 5F11 Vibrolux build. Uh, I'm gonna get started on this probably over the weekend building at the cabinet. I'm gonna capture as much video of that as possible. Um, obviously, Tolexing, I didn't talk about what I was gonna to use to attach the Tolex, but it's gonna just be uh, contact cement. I'll make sure to go over that in the next video. I think that next video is gonna basically look at the finishing off of the cabinet build. Uh, a future one after that, we'll look at putting together all the amplifier stuff. And then at some point here, we're gonna to have to give you a demo to show you what the Mojo Tone 5F11 sounds like with the Celestian G10 Greenback speaker in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this parts list. Uh, I hope you guys stay tuned for future videos because I think this build is gonna be really fun. Again, make sure to subscribe, uh, click that notifications button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.